Hello everyone, we're making butternut squash soup today. Such a nutritious dish for you and your family and super inexpensive. So basically we're gonna use ginger and garlic, which we're gonna do totally raw and fresh. We're gonna add later. But first we're gonna roast some celery, half an onion, Spanish or sweet, and one whole butternut squash. So we're just gonna remove the seeds, but we're actually gonna keep the skin on. So we're using a Vitamix, so you can actually keep the skin on. Throw everything into that roasting pan. Just half an onion will do, or add more if you want to. I mean, make it your own thing. This is how I do it, but you know, I change it up. Add some olive oil some Himalayan sea salt, and some freshly cracked pepper, and voila! 400 degree oven, we're gonna throw everything in there. And 45 minutes later, out comes the most delicious, caramelized, yummy vegetables. Oh, I'm gonna go with some raw garlic, just to make social distancing not an issue, and a little bit of uh, grated ginger flavor. It's amazing for colds and flus. And I just blend up that fresh ingredients first, and then I add everything from the roasting pan all into that Vitamix. You can use whatever blender that you want. I'm using the Vitamix because it's just simple. That's what I have. But you can definitely use like an emulsion blender or any blender you have on hand. I'm gonna add water and some ginger and turmeric. Very, very healthy, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Again, Himalayan sea salt some pepper to taste, and secret ingredient, raw cashews. This is what creates a creaminess without any dairy. Just put it on the soup setting on the Vitamix and let it do its thing. When you take it off, four minutes later, you have the most glorious, silky smooth soup now, if you're not using a Vitamix, throw it into a pot and warm it up on the stove. And after it's heated, then you can add some creamy coconut milk. Keeps it dairy free. Very smooth and, you know, pick whatever garnish you like. I like a nice crisp tart apple with mine, but you can add some cilantro, you can add some sour cream, you can add some yogurt, oh my goodness. It's amazing. Ugh, it's my favorite, this is my favorite soup. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that today. Let me know how it goes.